Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Yadira. Today I'm going to be talking about this piece by Louis Vuitton. It is the key clay or the key holder and I have it in the monogram. It does come in a variety of different prints in both the woman and in the men's line by Louis Vuitton. I'm going to show you what it looks like against some of the canvases that the fashion house offers as well as various different ways that you can use this piece other than just a key pouch. So if you are considering this item for yourself or or as a gift stay tuned to see the different ways that you can use it before we get into it I do want to say that I hope you enjoyed the content as well as give me your rating and let's chit chat in the comments as well so let's get on to what it looks like against various different canvases Okay, so just giving you a quick overview, it has a zipper and in the inside it is just a wall of canvas and another wall of canvas and there is no credit card slots of any kind or like a single pocket there. So it's just an opening like this. You can see a little bit of the light shining through but quite honestly, it's, it's still very well stitched, like it's not going to drop any of my items. So just in case you run into a piece and you see this. Um, just know that it's going to be okay. So I do have my little tape measure here. So I'm going to quickly go through some of the dimensions. And so I'm seeing it is about four and a half in length. This is in inches. So there we go. And then in the, of another about two and a half inches. And then the depth of it, it's about 0.4 inches there. So there you have it. So here I have a key fob and this is, okay, so again in inches. So the width is about the same or a little bit thicker than the actual pouch on um, the thickest end on my key anyways. And then the length of this just under three. Okay, so this one does have a little key ring, but it's not stiff or not stiff, but it's not like heavy, chunky like this one. So I can put it in there, no problem. And I can sit. So here is a key fob in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the key fob with some loyalty cards on here. So I'm gonna put that in there. I mean, let me take it out really quick. So you do see two of the key rings here, but they are the slimmer ones, the wire ones. So that is in there. And um, I have all of my keys inside of my six key holder. Um, so I'm not gonna take them out, but I am going to put a nickel. It's about the same width of a key, you see? So I'm gonna put a nickels in here. So I'm gonna put them right behind there. And you can position them to be like at the, at the top right here and they'll fit just fine. That's actually how I used to use this before and I do have a review that I'll link down below of my key ring um, in here. But anyways, I do have a um, nickel in there as well as my loyalty cards and my key fob. So I'm gonna push those down and it zips. So this is a key fob and one key with loyalty cards. If you didn't have the key fob in here, you can fit about like five or six keys. I used to have about um, about five or six keys. I used to have all of my keys in here. So I have five keys in here, plus my loyalty cards, and I had a keychain. It was like a hefty little fish in there. So again, I'll link down below the video where you can see that. But um, that is how that all fits in there. So you can put your key fob with some loyalty cards and a key in here without a problem. If you have AirPods, AirPod case will not fit upwards but if you lay it down it'll fit in here and you can sip it the zipper is going to be just slightly distorted um, but not too bad so these are the regular um, airpods but if you have the pro it's just a tiny bit longer of a case but it should just fit just fine so that is an airpod case in here so let's put that off to the side Okay, so next up, I have a few um, loyalty cards as well as um, gift cards and 
some IDs and stuff. So I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then, and then this um, Ulta card is much thinner. So I have eight cards in here. You want to use this to hold some loyalty cards or gift cards or even business cards that are a full credit card size. You can um, you can fit maybe three or four more of the credit card width ones. Um, there's still a little bit of space there. So again, there's some cards in there or if you did have all those cards that you wanted to carry and you want to utilize this spacing um, i have just a few dollar bills rolled up here so you can stick them on the side and that would take up the space there so there you have it some some cash with cards in there so if this is your first piece and you do want to use it um, to hold some change obviously you can put in a lot of dollar bills in there and then i have a few coins here so I'm just going to put it there. So you have some room in there to put even more cash, some maybe your ID, a debit card or a credit card, as well as even more change. And you can put in a, key. if you wanna put your key fob in there, you can, um, just whenever you're going to use it, you might have to be mindful about um, what all you have in there, just so it doesn't come out. Now it'll close, I just don't wanna take See, it'll close just fine. I'm just leaving that there. Um, but if you did want to use this to, to hold your keys, you can loop it in there. And there you have it. You have your keychain that has your car keys chain and all that stuff in here. So let's just say you're going out and you want to use this as a mini makeup bag inside of your clutch or your small mini bag. So um, you can put like a pair of tweezers that obviously fits in there. Um, you can put like some lash glue as well as like a baby mascara. And this can either be like an eyeliner or a lip liner the way I have it here. So that goes in there. And I have a mini makeup brush. So that fits just fine. And you can stop here if you want. All of that fits in there just fine. Or if you want to put in a little perfume, you can. I do have one by Louis Vuitton here. So right at the top, push it in just a little bit so the zipper will close. And here's your mini makeup essentials, the sharp tweezers in there. But I do also have like just the little ones that come with your lashes. So I can take those out of here and just to navigate all the way down, you have to pick up everything, right? So these two put in there as well. Okay. And then here is your tweezers and you can either have your key ring inside if you want to as well. So there is your mini emergency makeup bag. So let's just say you want a touch of powder. This is just um, an hourglass mini. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then I am also going to add in a small lipstick. This is the mini size. So this is a, a full size MAC lipstick. And it's about, you know, two fingers. So this is a mini size. Yeah, put that off to the side there. And I don't have a mini powder brush. I do have this little eye sponge that you can, you know, rub on your powder and pat it on, or even use this as like a um, oil controlling device. So I'm gonna stick that in there, and it works just fine. And if you wanted to have your key ring tucked in, you can. So there you have it. So let's just say you don't have a mini size of your lipstick. Here's just a standard size MAC lipstick and here's a baby one just for size comparison. Um, you can put that in here. It fits just fine. And let's just say you also want a chapstick. So you can have those two there. And there you go. And of course, if you did want to have the companion lip liner, there you go. Or if you wanted another change of um, lipstick, um, you'll have to kind of take off lip liner or the chapstick. 
so this fits just fine. It does protrude just a little bit, but again, that is a full size lipstick. So just continuing on with some makeup essentials. So I'm going to put the little makeup brush in there again. And this is a small shadow brush by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to put a little mini sponge in there. And of course this, you know, it's squishy. So it should be just fine. And let's just say I want a highlighter, but if you have a concealer, that would work fine. And then I have a mini lipstick for a touch up. So I have just a little bit of room off to the side there and some at the top. So I guess I can put in a little mini perfume. So push that off down there and here we go. More makeup items. So if you're gonna give this to maybe like a, a teenager or even for yourself, I have this mini um, deodorant. So the mini deodorant that I got from the travel section. So you can put it laying down and it is a little bit bulky there. So it is going to bulge. But I have that in here and let's just say you want a little perfume. So I have that there and I have a little bit of more space. So let's see, maybe like a chapstick. Okay, let's see. It's snug but it closes and it also opens easily. So you know, do a little perfume sample, this, and your deodorant. If you just want everyday items, I have, you know, a L'Occitane. This is a 10 millimeter um, hand cream there. And then you can have, you know, your chapstick and, you know, call it a day. So you can put that in there. And let's just say you're going to stay at a friend's house and you just want some quick, you know, true essentials. So let's just say this is your contacts. If you do wear contacts, do be sure this is very tightly closed or else the solution is probably going to leave a residue inside of your little pouch here. So I have that in there and let's just say you want me to bring floss with you. Um, I know this is the same thing as that floss. Just if you wanted to have a little wisp, you can. And then I have a mini makeup towelette here. Of course, this is squishy, so it should be just fine. So I'm just going to squeeze it in there. And you, you have your little overnight companion. So let's just say you wear braces and or you have a retainer that's bugging you and you want like some little gum in there, you can put that there. And then you want to have a handy whisk. Um, you can have a few in there. So this can be your, your little ortho friend. Or likewise, you can put a whole bunch of wisp in there. But if you're going to do that, I would just say clean this item or just use it just for that because the smells can mix, right? And if you're using this for coins and then you're going to go over and use it for like your dental products, you know, just kind of be mindful for that. Okay, so let's just say you do wear braces. So I have this rubber bands in the little baggie here. So you can put that in there. You have to fold the baggie just so that it doesn't get caught in the zipper. So you can get your little gum there and then you can get your little wisp if you want. Or if you do want to use the, the floss, like the small compact size floss, you can. So it all fits. Fine. We do have some face masks that are clean and you would like to have them on here. You can, if you're using like the disposable ones, it's going to have the wire. So obviously you're going to have to um, bend it and maybe protrude the wire a little bit. Just be careful that you're not poking any of your walls here, but you can have it there. If you do have a reusable, um, washable one, obviously that will fit much better. A washable one, so you can fold it up and have it in here. You can have like some cleaning towelettes or a couple, or a couple of them, because I do have some few here. So you can have your face mask and your towelette there. And there you have it. it. It's your time of the month. So I have a little panty liner there. It's so slim, right? So it can fit. Now I'll have to fold this one. 
because it's gonna get caught with the zipper. So I have it there. And then I have some, you know, little towelettes, feminine towelettes there. And then I have a tampon. So, and here you go. This is small and discreet enough to have these kind of items in there. Obviously, they do have, you know, tampons in all kinds of sizes. That one's just one that I had laying around. And if you wanted to have, let's just say you do want a pad in here, just kind of fold it up the way I have this panty liner in here. And, you know, you don't have to have this in there. Kind of fold it up the way I have the panty liner in there and you should be fine. Obviously not a, it'll have to be a very slim one. So let's just say you like snacks and so you can have that. So here I have some Starburst and then I have like some baby Kit Kat and I have a full size Dum Dum. So you can have this in there. And of course that's the lollipop right there. There you have it. So next up, I just have a couple of hair ties. I have four here, and then I have some three clips. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. Oops. And then you can obviously stick some bobby pins in there because bobby pins are so thin. Um, so there is your hair friend. And let's just say you did wanna put like a chapstick in here because the hair ties are so slim, you can do that. So I have um, hair ties, some full size clips, and a chapstick in here. So whenever you first close it, just kind of reshape the zipper back, but it's fine. Just a little bit fat here, but it's completely fine. So I have a little case for this motion sickness bands. If you would like to have the case in there, it would just be snug but it is in a case already and it'll be hard for you to open it. You have to push it down. Um, so you can obviously open it up and then put your bands inside here. Have that there. And let's just say you want to have, you know, like a eye drops, a band-aid, some like one of these uh, first aid burn creams and maybe like Benadryl in here you can and then let's just say a little this is a hand disposable towelet you can have that all in there obviously a little bit more organized but it closes just fine just kind of push the band-aid down because it'll get caught up in the zipper so now it's there you go a mini tied to go pen will fit in here. Just be cautious that you do have the cap securely fastened so it doesn't leak inside of your product. And then if you have one of these like small journal pens, this does fit in there and obviously it's very slim. So it's there, down there, and if you wanna have some business cards at the top, um, that fits just fine. We've showed that earlier. Or maybe if like, you had a tiny notepad, right? But of course not as thick, because we already know it's gonna be a little bit of a hassle. I have this, this is a key little baby lock. So if you did wanna have your lock out, I obviously, I don't use mine, it's pretty tarnished. But anyways, if you wanted to have it in here, you can, let's just say you have one of those bags that has a lock and have your lock and keys in here. If you want to have it in the little baggie, the little baggie is going to take up more space in here, but you can put it in there. If you are traveling and would like to use this as a small jewelry holder, you can. Um, I have some, you know, some bangles here. A full circular one, it's, it's probably not going to fit, but maybe something that's more like a cuff style would. 
and then I have you know, just a necklace here and then I have another bracelet here and then you know some small earrings you know if you have like larger costume jewelry you can fit that in there also you can use this this bracelet here would just kind of position it a different way so it doesn't get caught in the zipper but i have all of that in there and you can have this secured inside of your bag and you have like a little travel jewelry case and even though mine has like the light showing through whenever we open it it's, it's still fine but if you want you to be sure that you're not going to create any holes in your piece or you know scratch it or lose any of your items like i have the two eight millimeter round studs here I did pull out one of my little baggies so you can put it all off to the side let's just say let's put this just in there just because it does have like you know two little dividers so let's stick that in there and then you know the smaller pieces that I don't want to lose <clears throat> So you can have that there and I also have space like to put like you know a pair of earrings there. I only have one for size reference but I do have this chunkier one and obviously you are sacrificing the space for your bracelets by using the little cloth um, but you can use it just like that. Put it in there and with your earrings off to the side and there you go. You have a more safer way of handling your jewelry inside of this pouch so this piece is very handy you don't just have to use it for your card and cash you can use it for various different ways if you are considering this piece and you're wondering if items are going to fit in there i would just say look for items that are four inches and shorter I know this measures just a little bit over four inches however just to be sure that you have enough space for your ends to kind of take it in and out consider that and then obviously the height have it be something that's maybe about two inches or shorter like I kept showing the lipstick here right It'll be laying down um so yeah this is just um a various different ways you can use this piece and how it looks against some of the canvases that louis vuitton offers if you have any questions do let me know down below if you want me to try out if a particular item fits in here just let me know what that is and i'll try to see how it fits as always thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and i hope you enjoyed and decide to subscribe if you have not already done so thank you so much once more and i'll see you next time goodbye